To achieve these strategic goals, a package of internal service structure reform is required. We should establish a maritime commission which can coordinate development of capabilities across both civil and naval needs. The functionality of civil military relations should be improved by bringing armed forces personnel into the MOD and creating a chairman joint chiefs of staff housed in MOD and overseeing regional commands integrated along functional lines. Finally, we stress that we view our national security as rooted in our capacities to produce knowledge, create educational opportunity, and expand the frontiers of research. First, a great power is defined by its ability to produce knowledge in all fields, rather than simply being a consumer of knowledge produced elsewhere. Second, as India moves up the growth curve, citizens will demand access to education and knowledge as a crucial path to social mobility. Failure to meet, meet such expectations can turn intrinsically positive developments into a national security risk. We need to establish a knowledge ecosystem using ICT and leveraging our human and physical capital and economic assets to achieve this strategic goal. Indeed, failure to reform our knowledge and human capital formation capacities will have a serious negative impact on our hard power. Our growing defense spending is virtually all directed to imports. Our own defense research and production as managed by DRDO has delivered below expectations. Absence of competition, free flow of government funds, and bureaucr bureaucratic personnel management have been major obstacles. We need to open defense to the private sector and press for effective technology transfer while also investing in technology that others are unwilling to transfer. We need also to dramatically lower the average age of government scientists and researchers. Additionally, security-related research should be more deeply embedded in the broader research and knowledge structures, enabling more interaction between defense expertise and the private sector and civil society would be of mutual benefit. Finally, the quality of human capital responsible for national security needs to be rapidly enhanced. Creating a national defense university and internationalizing our defense colleges would be one step. Ultimately, whether we, expand, whether we can expand our strategic options will depend on enhancing state capacity. While the Indian state's resource base will continue to expand, its effective capacities will depend on redesigning its institutional forms. In addition to reforms for greater accountability, we need to break away from the present silo structures of the state, whereby knowledge and expertise are segregated along bureaucratic lines. The fact is that most of the strategic challenges fa faced by government cut across disciplinary and jurisdictional boundaries. At the same time, there is hyper-specialization within knowledge fields, with new subfields rapidly emerging, usually produced by young minds. It follows that the capacity to synthesize and integrate specialist knowledge will be critical to effective state policy and action. Government must therefore be willing to break down barriers between insiders and outsiders and to overturn hierarchies of age. To conclude, we have now the possibility of lifting millions of our fellow citizens out of poverty. That remains the guiding principle of any national strategy and how effectively we realize that possibility will remain the standard by which the world judges us. To realize this goal, we have argued, enjoins us to engage more deeply in the world, to play a greater role on the world stage. And as we do so, we need not simply follow the behavior of other powers. Instead, we must establish new standards of leadership. India's adherence to values is a source of its legitimacy in the international system. And that itself is a form of power. As India's global capacities rise, we need to sustain such legitimacy. If squandered, this legitimacy cannot be easily recovered. India should aim not just at being powerful, it should set new standards for what the powerful must do. Thank you.